Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna cover how to mod Android for BTD5 and Battles, and it'll apply to Monkey City as well. So this is gonna be two parts. The first part is gonna be how to get the files off of Android so you can mod on Windows, which is a ton easier. And the second part is gonna be how to get the files on Android and mod on Android. So I don't have access to a Mac or an iPhone, but I'm sure that uh, the techniques are gonna be roughly the same. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be extracting the game files. For Android, that's the APK, uh, but for iPhone, it's probably something similar. And then in this first part, we're gonna be taking those files, those extracted files off of our phone and putting them on our PC. And I'm sure you can do the same thing with iPhone and Mac. Anyways, let's get started. So I've got Bluestacks up, which is an Android emulator. You don't need this, uh, but just for recording purposes, I'm gonna be using this. Basically on your um, device, your Android phone, uh, you're gonna go to the search thing and type in APK Extractor. And now this is the one I have. Uh, the iPhones don't have APK files, they have something else. Um, but yeah, you would just use the equivalent for that. I will make an update video in the future when I understand this more uh, When it comes to iPhones Anyways, yeah, so you're gonna click open and then you're gonna scroll down to um, Your game so BTD battles for example or BTD 5 and Then you just click on it and it'll say that it extracted it to some path my experience with these apps is that you have to restart your phone um, because it's not gonna register the APK that was just extracted. So at this point, go ahead and restart your phone. And then when you get back, I'll tell you what to do. All right, so I'm gonna assume you've restarted your phone. What you're gonna do is you're gonna plug it into your computer. We wanna be able to access the files. All right, so I've restarted my phone and I have plugged it in. So I'm just gonna click on the name of my phone, go to internal storage, and look for something like extracted APKs. And inside this folder, you can see I've got a BTD Battles APK. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm just gonna uh, paste it on my desktop. Actually, I'm gonna make a new folder on my desktop. We'll just call it uh, BTD B Mobile. And I'm gonna paste it inside the folder. And now it's done. So APKs work a lot like zip files. Um, if you don't have a zip program, I recommend you guys pause the video, go to Google, look up 7-zip and download 7-zip so you can open these. But any other zip program works. I believe Mac can use WinRAR, um, but yeah. Anyways, so you're gonna uh, just right click the file, hover over 7-zip or WinRAR or whatever, and then click open archive. If you guys don't see that right click menu, um, what you can do is just press the start button and then scroll down until you get to your uh, program. For me, mine is 7-zip, so I'll click on the 7-zip file manager. That actually opened it up right here, but if it didn't, you could just copy the path at the top of wherever your APK is, then go back to 7-zip or WinRAR, paste it, press enter, and it'll take you right there. Now that we're here, we're gonna look for something that ends in .jet. So I have the Battles APK up right now, but for Monkey City or BTD5, it might be a little different. Uh, but for Battles, you go inside this Assets folder and then go inside this Assets folder and we've got data.jet. So for BTD5, uh, Monkey City and Battles, they use the JET file to store all their moddable files in. So if you just find something that ends in .jet, even if it's not in this same folder, uh, you should be fine. Anyways, we have the file we want, so we're just gonna click on data.jet and drag it over here. So textures is gonna have the textures. Um, fonts is gonna be fonts. LOC is like, uh, a lot of times it's like the upgrade descriptions and stuff, at least for BCD5 and possibly Monkey City. Audio is gonna have all the audio sounds. But yeah, basically this is now like modding it on Steam. So now uh, you guys are up to date on where we are with the other modding series. Or I'm sorry, with like modding on Windows or um, whatever. So this is BTD Battles, BTD5 and BTD Monkey City both have the same password. So right here is the password for BTD5 and BTD Monkey City. 
Um, if this is what you guys are looking for, you can copy it here. Um, make sure there are no spaces before or after your password, because if you have spaces, it won't work. Now, Battles changes their password for this jet file every single update, which Monkey City and BTT5 don't. So if uh, Battles gets updated, you're going to have to get the newest password. I have a video on how to get the latest password for Windows or Android. I don't have it yet for uh, Mac, but most of the modding Discord servers do have people who have Windows and Mac and post the latest password. Usually within a few minutes, someone's already, or within a few minutes of battles being updated, someone's already gotten the password and posted them. Uh, you can check the Discord server linked in the description because they usually post it as well. But if for some reason you can't, just watch my video on how to get the password. BTD Toolbox has a tool for getting the password, but as of the current version, it does not support getting the password for mobile only for the Windows Store or um, uh, Steam version. So yeah. Anyways, I have, for this current version, I've gotten the password for battle. So I'm just going to double click on this, try to extract it. It's going to ask me for the password, so I'm going to paste it in there. The password will be different if you're not using BTD, uh, BTD Battles version 6.5.2. Anyways, it's extracted successfully, and now I have all the files, like normal. You can open up any of these files. I'm going to open up, like, the dartmonkey.tower. If you guys notice, there's code in here. If there's no code in your files, you have the wrong password. Make sure there's no spaces before or after it, and make sure that you have the right password for your version if you're using Battles. But yeah, at this point, you know, you can mod the files like normal and you can do anything we're doing in the uh, tutorial series. If you didn't want to mod the files by hand like this, which I understand it's kind of a pain in the butt, what you can do is you guys can get BTD Toolbox open and you can do one of two things. You can either use your uh, jet file from your phone with the PC version of the game, or you can use it uh, without that. So what do I mean by that? Well, basically I have the BTD Battles jet file on my computer right now. That's what we just got, the Android version of Battles. But I can run that data.jet with the Windows version of Battles. With BTD5 and BTD Monkey City, or I guess really just BTD5, you don't really have to worry about any issues, but with Battles, the password is different for Android or Windows or Mac or whatever. So what you'd want to do is, I would click on File, um, Open Existing Jet File, and go to my BTD folder with the data.jet from my Android. And now it's going to ask me to put a project name in. I'll just do mobile mod. Now it's asking me for the password. So it has my saved Windows password, but it doesn't have uh, Android password. So you want to make sure that you don't use the Windows password and you don't well, it's kind of, I wouldn't check, don't ask me again. Leave that unchecked because we have to use the Android password to open it, but then to mod this on Windows and test it with the Steam version of Battles, you've got to use the Steam password. So we got to use the Android password to open the box, and then we've got to use the Windows password to close the box. So for this version of Battles, the Android password is this, and I am not going to check don't ask me again, and I am not going to check use last password. We're just opening the box. And if you notice, BTD Toolbox did not throw a bad password error. So that means we have the right password to open the box. And now we can just go to assets and just do some random stuff here real quick. I'll go to my dart monkey. And I'm gonna change the price to like way too much money. And then I'm gonna try to launch. And now I have to use a password. So at this point, I'm gonna use the Windows version of the password so I can run this on Steam. Now I'm gonna to try to launch it, and I'll see you guys in game. All right, so I'm in game in practice mode, and you can see that my Dart Monkey is way too much money. So what this is, is this is a mod made from an Android jet file being used on a Steam game. And it works. For battles, you just gotta have the right password. Anyways, this is a really good method for modding your Android game and uh, trying to get the mod to work the way you want. And then when you're done, you simply, you're like, oh, I like the way this is now. Okay, well now what you do is you just, I would say with Toolbox, you just try to save your mod. I'm gonna save it to like, uh, finished mod and uh, .jet. 
and now it'll ask you for the password. So when you're done and you want to use your mod on Android, just go back and get the Android password, paste it in, enter. It's compiling the mod and it's done. So all this is basically a faster way to mod it. If you have access to the uh, Steam version, you can just, like I like this whole explanation was basically, it's just you can take the Android game, mod it all you want, test it on the Windows game, and then when you like it the way it is, save it for Android again. So I originally said I was only gonna make this a two-part video, but I'm gonna actually make this a third part. I'm gonna have a video totally dedicated to just how to put this back onto your phone. That way, anybody who wants to know how to make these Android mods doesn't have to watch this 10 minute long video just to find out at the very end what they wanted was at the end. But anyways, this video has been uh, how to make Android mods. Thanks for watching.